I always wanted to know how much a signal can be damaged if it travels through a long USB cable comparing to if it travels only through a short USB cable. What do you think? How much damage a cable can make to a signal? Let's have a look. In our first measurement, we just measured the signal going from the PC. We measured this signal close to the USB memory stick and we used a short cable. This is the result. Now, we are going to do exactly the same measurement, but we will use this long 5 meter or 200 inch cable. What do you think what the difference is going to be? Watch. So that was uh, the, the short cable. Now I want to take a really a longer cable, the okay. 5 meter cable. I'm curious. I, I'm really curious to see this. So I remove that one. This is a longer cable that must be, I think it's 5 meters. <laughs> so this is basically... Uh, now, why we are doing this? Because we would like to see how much worse the signal is going to look right. when you use very long what, cable. What influence a long cable yeah. has on the, on the signal quality. Here we go. You see that's much smaller. So we have much more damping because of that long cable. And in that, in that case, uh, you, though we have the, 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 the near end mask, we need to do the, uh, the far end mask. Mm -hmm. Which is so far and mask will be low, mm -hmm. and this means uh, yeah. even mm -hmm. if it's lower, it's still kind of passing the USB yeah. standard. Yeah, you see that even if it's a longer cable, we have quite nice uh, signal mm -hmm. edges, and um, so that that means um, we have we have a longer distance, but the the, the bits are, or, or the edges um, are still okay, so that the communication um, uh, could could be working. When we compare the results, this is how they look. You can see when we use a long cable, the signal is much smaller comparing to this signal when we use a short cable. Next, uh, we are going to measure the signal which goes out of the memory stick. We can't really measure the signal directly inside of our PC, so what we see on our scope may be a little bit different from what the PC really sees, but we will use this short cable between PC and our probe, and we will measure the output from the USB memory stick when it is connected directly to our picture and when it is connected by a long cable. First, let's have a look at the long cable. What do we have now? We have a short cable between PC and the test picture. Right, so and we here, have, yeah. here we have the short cable, and then we have that long extension cable from the test picture to the USB device to the USB memory. And you see here the very, very large um, data packages from the host and the small one from the, um, from, from the device. Mm -hmm. And you see that we have lots of chitter and the, the signal shape does not really look nice. We have much, many, many reflections on the signal because of that, of that cable. Mm -hmm. I'm quite sure it's not a, not, a, not a high quality cable. Do the direct connection again. So connect the yeah. device directly to the. And then we can we can connect another another uh, another device. Different. I can say that I can say that this oh. this device oh, that USB there. stick looks looks much different, and that that USB stick is is a really good one. Okay. It's not it's not a certified device, but it's 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 a good one. So it has really a good output signals, and you see here these these are reflections. Mm -hmm that the ref reflections cause that uh, the, the edges to, to be flattened and um, that it's uh, walking around. Mm -hmm. Okay, so try different mm -hmm. USB device. I will try a different USB device, right? <laughs> so um, I have take this one, that's a very old one. Uh, it looked much worse yesterday, <laughs> but it might have been because of, of, the, of the of the long cables, because you see that the degradation here. You try to I, connect I, the cable now. It's just yeah. you know, I'm just curious. Yeah, I take the other one, this okay. cable here. Uh, 
I take the I first want to take the short one because I think that this is even worse. Wow. Right. So here's what you see that the that these signals are really, really small then. It's really damped and you get these reflections. Okay, the other one. Not so it really either. depends not only on cable, but also on, on the USB device on itself. The, the USB devices. Yeah, I think that the, 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 the memory stick makers, they, they learned a lot um, how to, uh, or that the, the, the chips are, um, uh, they, 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 bec they became really better. They, they've, um, from the experience that the, even the low cost chip, that, that, that's now a, uh, a, a, a proof process and they have that process in control and they, they can easily create very good uh, USB sticks uh, without spending extra money for extra expensive chips. And so, the newer chips, they I think that they that there shouldn't be any uh, any chip failing really the test. But theoretically, USB memory stick is usually plugged in directly to USB hub or to PC, so maybe yeah, sometimes, really... sometimes. Okay. But so we we have customers they uh, they have a uh, um, they have a, a machine where they have a, a, a PC anywhere or or an, an embedded PC. And then they they put out the uh, the the connection for USB uh, stick or for USB port on the on the front panel, so you have cables in between stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it's not not every time um, a USB memory. Um, we had a customer who had a, a touch a, a, a touch screen, and uh, sometimes uh, the touch that does not work, and sometimes it worked. And they had the uh, from their vendor they got a uh, the vendor said, well, uh, that the, the cable I produce is, is uh, USB uh, capable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it turned out that the impedance of that cable was so bad that it got reflections and sometimes uh, the, the connection simply broke down. Mm -hmm. And so um, just, just by adding a, a short one meter um, USB extension um, fixed the problem because the reflection was at a different uh, part nice. of the signal and not at the edge. <laughs> and so it worked. <laughs> it was wow. really funny. Okay, so, so these so are all the measurements what we wanted to make with these yeah. devices. Now, right. now we would like to have a closer look at protocol. Right. Okay, okay. let's do this. And uh, that's everything for today's video. If you like, here you can compare the results which we measured and you can nicely see that the length of a USB cable can really influence USB signal quality. If you like, watch my other video with Gregor where we measured USB, link is in the description. Don't forget to leave your comments, don't forget to press the like button, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye!